As you know, the BEYOND trial is a trial which is done on non-transfusion-dependent thalassemia. Non-transfusion-dependent thalassemia is a group of patients, thalassemia, that do not require continuous blood transfusion for survival. And this is what makes them different from transfusion-dependent thalassemia. The BEYOND trial that we presented before was on this group of patients where a group was placebo and another group received lospatercept. And it was clearly shown that lospatercept will increase the hemoglobin in around 70% of the patients to increase of more than one gram per deciliter. What, we, what I have presented at the EHA this year was a long-term follow-up on these patients. So it, we looked into over 90% of the patients experienced a mean increase in hemoglobin from the baseline over a rolling period of around 12 weeks interval with an increased duration of response. So we showed the increase and the sustain and the durability of the response. Fewer patients or those patients that were receiving lospatercept required red blood cell transfusion and uh, the, the need remained to be low. In contrast, we have noticed also that the placebo, as expected, has increased their serum ferritin and their liver iron concentration, while in those patients who were on lospatercept, on the contrary, there was a trend in dropping of the serum ferritin and the uh, liver iron concentration. So in general, what we have shown is that patients with non-transfusion-dependent thalassemia in the receiving and the difference here, a long-term lospatercept treatment continued to experience an increase in their hemoglobin level. So this is what I presented during the uh, uh, EHA 2023.